Dog mode, sentry mode, chill mode, romance mode, fart mode, Santa mode, holiday show mode, James Bond mode, and the list goes on for all of the other Easter eggs inside current Tesla models. Now talking about Easter eggs, they kind of started off with the Atari 2600 in the 1970s, and talking about Atari, a lot of the classic Atari games like Centipede, Asteroids, Lunar Lander, and Missile Command have been a part of the computer system on board Tesla's for a while now. Elon Musk is quite the gamer. Part of the reason I got interested in technology, uh, maybe the reason was video games. So he had an arcade mode put into the Easter egg section of each Tesla. This arcade mode can be found with a few of the other Easter eggs on board right on the main screen. But now this arcade mode has gotten quite a bit of an upgrade and instead of being hidden, it's now part of the main button selection on all of the current Teslas. My name is Thomas and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I wanna get right into the information, but just before I do, I wanna discuss this really quickly. Daily videos. I, I don't know if I wanna do them or not. It's a balance because I love quality content, but I also love creating lots of content and having lots of updates instead of just focusing on one little idea and editing and filming the crap out of it. So I'm kinda of torn between the two. I'm not sure which one to do. So if you have an opinion or if you think I should do one or the other, then let me know down in the comments below and I guess we'll try and figure this out. But without any further ado, let's get into all the information about this refreshed arcade mode with the recent Tesla update. This update essentially turns your Tesla into a giant portable Xbox or PlayStation. So maybe more appropriately, it's a giant Switch as a Switch is actually portable. And also I did relate this to Mario Kart because it is just so dang close. They've added a new game that is pretty much Mario Kart. It's called Beach Buggy Racing 2. Again, this is essentially a Mario Kart that just looks a little different. This is a game that you can download on your phone. Some of the main differences that they've made to the Tesla version as opposed to the original version is they've included an astronaut character that looks a lot like our friend Starman that Elon Musk blasted into space in his own Tesla Roadster in early 2018. I personally think it's a fantastic decision including Starman in this game because they're kind of making him like the Tesla mascot and I think that couldn't be any funnier. You can also play as your own Tesla as your sister system will know what model and color you have and then you get to drive that inside the game. You can play single player mode or two player mode using the optional screen controls but the best way in my opinion to play this is by using the steering wheel and the brake pedal. The reason I say brake pedal versus the accelerator pedal as well as the brake pedal is because there's a warning that pops up before you get into this game saying you can't use it just in case. I decided to put up my feet and download the game and give it a shot because I don't own a Tesla or sadly have access to one so I thought, why not? And we are in. One of the things you'll notice straight away is this game feels super familiar. It's almost like there's other games out there that are like it. Never would have thought. So you actually don't have to accelerate on this game, it does it for you and all you have to do is just stay within the lines and control the braking which is just by touching the left or right side of the screen. First place. Again, I love it. I think it's a fantastic idea incorporating the center dash screen as well as the steering wheel and brake pedal making you feel like you're more or less inside the game versus just watching it on a silly screen. But I do have a small complaint. When you are turning the steering wheel, it also changes the direction of the tires as well. And I don't think that's a good idea at all. Car 101 is you should never dry turn your tires. You should never turn your tires when you're not moving or at least trying to avoid doing it as much as you can. So if you're waiting for your Tesla to charge up, which is when you would play this game, and you're sitting there changing the direction of your steering wheel, and that's also changing the direction of your tires, you're just gonna wear down your tires and put too much stress on your power steering system. I'm not sure if it's possible, but I'd like to see another update where they change this and you don't actually have the tires changing direction while you're turning the steering wheel inside this game. But still, this is essentially taking Mario Kart and putting it inside your Tesla, so I really can't complain, especially since this is gonna be a huge help for those people that have to sit around and wait while their Tesla is charging for whatever reason as we're still not at the era where we can just plug it in for five minutes and charge your car completely. So this is gonna be a great alternative to just endlessly scrolling on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of those other social medias. Now I also wanna to touch on E3 2019. And the reason for that is because Elon Musk was actually there. Please welcome Todd Howard, 
and Elon Musk. And the reason he was there was to announce the release of both Cuphead as well as this Beach Buggy Racing 2 game on all the Tesla models. Beach Buggy Racing 2 is currently out, but as of the making of this video, Cuphead isn't yet released on the Tesla models. So what I'm expecting very soon is an app store inside of the Tesla interface that you can actually buy games that you can also get on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and your phone. In one of the shots in this trailer, they had somebody playing Cuphead with an Xbox remote control. Obviously it was hooked up through a USB, but I really hope they actually add this when they make the final update to the arcade mode. Very cool, Elon. Very cool. And the last thing that Elon hinted at at E3 2019 was the possibility of a couple more applications that everybody loves, but I'll let him tell you what those are. What can we do to make the, the car the most fun possible? We're also going to enable people to watch videos like streaming through the, the browser. You'll be able to watch uh, YouTube, Netflix, or whatever if the car is parked and connected to Wi-Fi. I'm really excited to see what else Tesla can crank out when it comes to these Easter eggs, modes, and these games. I think it's a fantastic idea, and it's also so cool that you can just update your Tesla like you can with your phone right over the air through Wi-Fi or however else you feel like doing it. It's so cool you can do that, and that they just keep surprising us with these new fun ideas that their team can keeps coming up with. And last but not least, I want to show you the video that Tesla used to announce this new function, at least here on YouTube. So without any further ado, roll a clip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this Tesla cart mode down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.